The trial for the Mafia boss Matteo Messina Denaro is now on hold until March. Italy's most wanted man was finally caught this week. We talked about it. 30 years on the run. It's been a big month for international policing, as you might understand. The son of the infamous drug lord El Capo was captured in Mexico. Uh, unfortunately, 29, uh, 29 people died in that mammoth operation. And the same week in Sudan, officials caught an alleged human trafficking kingpin. Interpol said he likely smuggled thousands of victims. Let's find out from the source itself. Interpol, which of course helps the police forces find the world's most wanted criminals. The head of it is Jürgen Stock, and I am so grateful, sir. Thank you having for having me. Thank Richard. you. So this organised crime business, it's not just movies. You, you were telling me a minute ago, it's not only real, it's growing. It's growing. It's definitely growing. And the more resources law enforcement globally invests, the more cases they are detecting because uh, it's a it's a it's an, an, a criminal economy that takes place in the underground. So they don't want to make a lot of noise in most of the countries. So the more resources we invest, the more cases we identify. So when we romanticize the Cosa Nostra and we think of the mafia and all that, uh, that, 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 that really annoys you. No, I mean, there's nothing romantic uh, in organized crime. It's brutal business. It's uh, violence very often. It's infiltrating our societies with the illegal proceeds. And they are making multi millions, billions of, of dollars that are reinvested into the legal economy. So there's nothing romantic. It's brutally, and we know how many people have lost their lives. Right, so you've got all this organized crime over here, but now you've got cyber crime, which I, you, uh, is your number one issue for police forces, really, besides obviously the, 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 the bread and butter stuff. Yeah, it's the number one, and it's a completely different business model, if I may say, from, for instance, the old-fashioned traditional mafia type of crime, where people know each other, same family, same country. Cybercrime is anonymous, underground economy. People only communicate with nicknames. Uh, it's, they're using the kind of yellow pages. But when it becomes state-sponsored cybercrime, uh, I'll give you, I mean, I know you're not political, but I'll give you the example of Russia, for example, which is still a member. But when it becomes state-sponsored, you really are, it's a very difficult thing for you to deal with. No, if it's state-sponsored, Interpol is out, clearly. We leave that for the intelligence community or any other body. Interpol deals with crime, criminal activity, and 80% of all the attacks around the world is, con is done by, c conducted by criminals purely, who simply want to make money, no political intention. Ransomware, to pay or not to pay? Definitely not to pay, because if you pay, you finance organized crime. So the message is, contact your police, but first and foremost, protect your systems from infiltration. That is the most important, that we all understand that our systems are under threat. It's just a matter, it's not a matter of if you get attacked, it's a matter of when you get attacked. And I'm very happy to hear here in Davos that the topic of awareness now reached uh, the C suite level, of course. Right. So they are aware you have to invest, but if in case you get a victim, be prepared, have a plan in place. In but case the temptation, attack, police. look, if the price is not that high and you can get your computers back and you can get back into business, the temptation is to pay. No, but if you are well prepared, you can avoid that from happening. And that well, is why, course, why we mean, have to invest in IT security. We all, our private systems, but also companies and the critical infrastructures in our societies. We are all under threat. The threat is increasing. That is quite clear. Artificial intelligence will help also the criminals to attack our systems. Choose a color. Red would be red notice. Green stands in my country for hope, but I would go for blue because blue is police. Oh, yes, that's good. That's really... Blue's police. I hadn't thought about that. No, no, no. The little sound going, come over here, sir. Come and join me at the wall. So what's the biggest worry at the moment that you've got or that you, you think you, you, you want to, to, to really point up? Or you can write something in yourself. I, w I would like to add um, the topic of cyber threats because that concerns all of us as individuals, right. our economies, our countries, and again... Uh, it's, it's, uh, we all have to understand the threat is only going to grow. So more sophisticated, but, but more we, complex, more international. But it's a